Zion National Park is defined by its rock canyons, but its towering red, orange, and white walls sometimes shift, slide, or fall. Zion in particular has uh, an exceptional number of rock falls. Which is why rangers who serve on the park trail crew, like Tim, the trail supervisor, are ready to respond when rocks come down. Every rock you see at the bottom of the canyon started somewhere higher in the canyon's walls. The rocks that made up the canyon walls are prone to fall, leading to frequent and hard to predict rock falls. Now, a lot of stuff is very crumbly and sandy. You'll notice looking at the rocks, there's a lot of large grains that you can see in them. And so the rock here just isn't as solid as a, a lot of other places. One factor of rock fall is water, heavy rain, snow, or floods. Because of the nature of the geology being so sandy and the, these rocks that are not really compressed, uh, that water erodes it all the quicker and that sand builds up and the rocks end up just sitting in these steep slopes of sand without any real, um, anything really holding it together. And in the winter, when rain and snow often cover sandstone cliffs, water can seep into surface level cracks in the rock, freeze and push the rock out further. Changes in temperature are another factor that affect geologic activity. Cold causes rocks to contract and heat makes them expand. You do have quite large thermal fluctuations from temperatures in the morning to temperatures in the afternoon. Uh, and the rock itself will also expand and move quite a bit as those temperatures increase. Gravity is also a factor causing rock fall. In some instances, one rock falling can lead to multiple rocks falling. Whenever rocks fall, they can block roads and trails, especially those that are carved into and near canyon walls. When that happens, National Park Service staff respond. Our job is really to try to keep as many trails open as possible. Park geologists and maintenance workers consider how to conserve landscapes, plants, and animals as part of the process to safely and efficiently repair damaged infrastructure. Sometimes one or a few rocks block a road or trail, or a mound of rocks can completely cover a large area. And different situations require different methods of repair using hand tools is most common. We oftentimes clear by hand. We'll go up with hand tools, rock bars, picks, shovels, um, tools like that, and move things by hand, working as a team, um, oftentimes moving rocks 500 to 1,000 pounds by hand. On roads like this section of the Zion Mount Carmel Highway, workers sometimes use heavy machinery to break up large rocks and then move them out of the way. When possible, workers can use the same kinds of tools on trails, like here near Weeping Rock. In some cases, like here at Lower Emerald Pool, workers use specialized blasting devices to break rock into smaller pieces. These devices focus their force where they are placed, limiting shaking to prevent instability in rocks nearby. The function of that product is, is really particular to what we're trying to accomplish here in maintaining safety and not ending up creating uh, a larger problem after we start work than we had to begin with. Rockfall sites can be active for days, weeks, or years. In some cases, like the section of the Hidden Canyon Trail affected by a massive rockfall in 2019, rockfalls are progressive meaning it is more likely other rocks will fall because of the initial event, which could be dangerous for anyone in or near the work zone. When National Park Service staff respond after a rock fall, safety is the main priority, both for employees and visitors. So the question is always, is there an elevated risk of additional rock fall? Or is this something where there's going to be people and if this rock comes, um, you know, there could be devastating results. Uh, so that kind of differentiation in the risk and in, in the location um, really puts things on a spectrum. There's really no black or white. Rocks in Zion fall, frequently. But that's part of what makes Zion, Zion. These geologic forces are what create and continue to shape the canyons we get to experience today. It is impossible to predict when or where the next rockfall will happen, but we can predict that our geologists and trail workers' experience and expertise will ensure we continue to safely 
and efficiently address rockfall when it happens.